This is a UWE radio drama called Split P. It is a fiction-based piece on the mental illness schizophrenia. Following the lead character John Woods, played by James Cotter, takes you through a journey of what it might be like if you could have another imaginary personality. Will this lead to John Woods' life turning to turmoil, or gain something from having this illness forced upon him? Hello. You right, John? John, we all know you like Susan. Why didn't you ask her out for coffee or lunch? Yeah, I would, but I don't know. The last time I had a girlfriend, I was in primary. Wow. It's a no-brainer. Just go and talk to her. Well, it's your loss if you don't. Hi, Susan. Is there anything I can help you with, John? Um, I need those referrals, please. Oh, all right. I'll get them to you as soon as possible. You're going to be alone for the rest of your life at this rate. <laughs> oh, whatever. See you tomorrow. I'm heading off for a run now. See you, John. Hey, John. Hi. Who the hell is that? Hello, John. Who's there? John, you're all right, mate. Something wrong. Have you seen a woman hanging around here recently? Uh, John, there are quite a few women working here. <laughs> There's your girlfriend, Susan. Oh, never mind. Who is that? Excuse me, what are you doing on my roof? I'm here for you, John. What do you mean, here for me? Well, you better get off my fucking roof. I'm calling the police, and they'll be here for you. Where'd she go? do you think you're playing at? I just wanted to see you. Well, you have seen me. Twice this week. Peering through my window. You don't go around creeping around other people's roofs. Sorry. Who are you, anyway? Why are you here? Please don't be angry. I'm here for you. You already said that. What's wrong with you? I'm sorry. Look, are you OK? Do you need me to call someone for you? Yes. OK. Come in for a minute. All right, uh, take a seat and I'll get my phone. OK.
There you go. Call whoever you need to. Oh, I've um, made you some tea. You just need to add sugar if you take it. Have you called anyone yet? No, not yet. Thanks. Oh, OK. Um, well, I've already missed work, so I guess I'll be pulling a sickie. Do you live around here? Well, you could say that. OK. Um, I still don't understand why you're on my roof. It was the only way to get your attention. Wow, that's so sweet, and if you don't mind me saying, a little creepy. Sorry to scare you like that. I can't remember any numbers to ring, so I'll be going. Well, I'm off out in a minute to get some breakfast, seeing as I'm already missing work. Would you like to join me and explain in more detail why and what you were doing on my roof? Or can I just give you a lift? Yes, breakfast would be nice. Morning. Many are in front of you. Can I get you a drink? Can I get two coffees, please? OK. Two coffees, you said? Yes, please. I always come here. The service is great and the food is excellent for situations like today. Yes, it's really nice. There you go. Can I take your order now? What would you like? Whatever you're having. I don't mind. Two full English, please. Oh, OK. Shouldn't be too long. So, um, you have a name? My name's Jo. Ah, we're getting somewhere now. It's nice to have a break from work, even if it is in the greasy cap with my stalker. I'm not stalking you. I'm here for you. So you keep saying. What is your problem? Why are you putting all the food in front of me? Sorry, where would you like me to put the other breakfast? In front of her, obviously. Who, sir? Are you stupid? I'm going. You stay here. Sorry, Tom. Shit! What are you doing here? How did you get in? I'm here for you. So why are you here? That was... that was nice. Sorry I shouted like that back in the calf. The waitress was clearly annoying you, but you were never there. That's all right. So you keep saying, I'm here for you. Yet only till now have you helped. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, John. I must go now. Sorry, don't you want to stay a while? No, thanks. I know where I'm going now. Goodbye, John. Hey, John. Hey, how's it going? You seem different, John. You're still feeling well. Yeah, better than ever now. You were sick, right? Yeah, I was, but it helped me for the better. Right. Susan! Hi, John. Do you have those referrals done yet? Yeah, I'll just get them for you. Susan! Yes, John? Would you... Would you like to have lunch together today, sometime? I would love to. Say, 12 midday? You got a date. 